Shella Wall. Shella Wall, we're the Hebrew Israelite. We found we can't look out. We're from South Down, follow the America. We went to the Lost Sheets of Israel, the so called Negro, Native American Indian, so called Latino Hispanic. We make up the Lord and chosen people. We have honor and blessing to the elders, the apostle Great Millstone, the water you have by Shimia Bashaf for the elders, the apostle on down for waking us up to the wisdom of our truth understanding. Keep the spirit of power you have by Shimia Bashaf. That's what all that. We want to give our praise and glory to the Yahweh. What we just doing, giving praise to the Most High Yahweh, who the people call God, and Yahweh Shah, who our people give the God Jesus. We give our honor and praise to the higher power. So with that, you know, we got up. You know, shout along, right? And you know what we're going to today is, you know, speaking, you know, mainly to the true believers of Israel, the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? The Israelites, you know, right? We come to times of adversity, persecution, right? And we want to keep ourselves level-headed at these times, right? And you know, Isaiah 33 and 6 always should come to mind, you know, wisdom and knowledge, this ability of that time, you know, and, and the scriptures, right? Right has is gonna prepare us for these times, man. Huh? Keep us stable, you know. And it's and we got you know we got a lot of precepts, you know. We call it ammo, you know. That's gonna keep us stable. So these times that we reflect on when we're in the time of famine, of food, uh, shit, World War Three, concentration camps. You know, we all the Lord has provided us with those types of examples. And, and the scriptures keep us stable inside those times, man. So we're gonna go inside those precepts. You know? Got it out. that we're coming into, we're going to need, matter of fact, I got that one too. I mean, I said it, I already quoted it, but I said it again, right? Because the time that we're coming into, we're going to need these scriptures to keep us um, stable, matter of fact. You know what I'm talking about? Right, because like, like the brother just brought out, right? The things written a fourth time written for our learning, right? Because we got we to come back through reincarnation, you know, to plot these future events, these future prophecies, man. Right, but the Lord said He's not gonna leave us naked, you know. And we 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 a whole hundred believe that. It's to the point now, brother saying, "Hey, put me up under the guillotine before I take that all to see him." You know what I'm saying? Right, we believe that. Hey, Yahweh about you not shut gonna guide us to the food that we need until these times to come. That's what he, that's what he said. He said we're the fourth time we're five learning. Right, he left plenty of examples, man. That shit gave me the chills, man. You know, calling on Yahweh to know what's up. Right, um, Isaiah 33 verse six. It says. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure. Like I said, so hey, we, 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 we um, think about the book of Ephesians 6, we're going to grab those as well. You know, it talks about how we're going to put on the whole armor. You know, we know hey, Esau, Edom going to come down with that great wrath, right? And that great going to mean real, real gruesome and heavy, right? He bring, he bring out all the tricks that he can. Right, to, to really make to get the elect, you know, the sheep, right, two thirds. Two thirds are gonna be two thirds. You know, they're gonna fall, we don't know where to go. Right, but that wisdom and knowledge keep us stable. But like I said, when, when the heavy persecution comes, right, when there's no food, you know, the, um, uh, uh, Jacob Trump, all hell breaking loose, right? We're gonna be stable, right? Uh, it's that person to back it up. Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse seven. For we walk by faith and not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body. We say to be present with the Lord. Yeah, how about some y'all shot? One more time to right. lock Alright, right, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. Right. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Right, hey, so that, that's really amazing. Yeah. I mean, if you want to speak on the second part, you want to. Alright, but he said, hey, he said, for we walk, 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 for we walk by faith 
and not by sight, right? Because we out here prophesied and telling you about it's going to be a food famine, right? The love of men is going to wax cold, right? Right? We're going to be out here. We're warning you about martial law, right? These troops are going to be invaded. We warn you about this council, right? We warn you how it's gonna look ugly, right? Walking down this path, right? But the thing about it, Lord said, hey, walk by faith and not by sight. And like I always bring out some of my videos, right, with the book of Eli, you know? Hey, Denzel was like, hey, he told the white girl, she's like, how you know you're walking the right way? She's like, I walk by faith and not by sight. Mm -hmm. I know it look ugly, but the thing about it, Lord gave us the spirit of not paying attention to what's in front of you, right? Because you already know he's gonna protect us inside these times, right? How you doing, man? So we really don't have nothing to worry about, man. Really? You know, that's the spirit we should be in, right? Not having no, I ain't saying carefree. Like you're not doing anything, but you know, in a time of persecution, hey, it is what it is. This is what we're preparing ourselves for, man. You got it up. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. Right, bring it, it up. It says the name of the Lord, Yahweh, right. is a strong tower. Strong tower. The righteous run up into it. And it's safe. So you say hey, the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And every name does not swap every name. Every uh everybody does not have this 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 um the, the name, the proper name. Right? Yahweh meaning he exists, he is to be, right? Yahweh Shah, who were incorrectly called Jesus Christ, right? He saved, he delivers, man. He says it's a strong tower, right? We tell people it's hot time to wake up to sleep and do what? They come into your house by Shemel Shah. Right? 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 And these times of tribulations, we can't do this on our own. You know, matter of fact, can you grab me on? Um, yeah, I'm just calling everything, but can you grab uh, Isaiah 41? Spirit, 41 and 14. 41, 14. Yeah, I think 13 we started. All right. Isaiah chapter 41 and verse, you said 13. Yeah, what did you say? 13, you say, for, for out of the Lord, that you have will hold our right hand. Saying unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. 14 the point, yeah. All right, yeah. All right, this Isaiah chapter right. 41 and verse 13. Uh -huh. He say, Father, the Lord, thou Yahweh, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not. And that's the part of going to that strong tower. For what? Hey, matter of fact, he keeps the song from And that's the part of it right there. He says, Fear not, I'm going to hold you like these times will come. Uh -huh. Right? And, and chill, man. You got to have that 144% faith, man. This, this whole. This journey that we on is faith based. Yep. You can't walk down this journey and not have the faith in it, man. Yeah, right. You know, to do the work, to get up and to get up and do the um the high holy day, keep the Sabbath to the best of your abilities. You know what I'm saying? Everything that's you have much that shot told us to do, that takes faith to do. You're not gonna be doing it if you don't believe in it. You know, but it's just the point, right? It says the name of the Lord is no, it's like Isaiah. Read it back one more time up. It's um Isaiah. 41 and verse 13. Uh huh. It say, For I, the Lord, thou Yahweh, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. It say, Fear yeah, not. Okay. Matter of fact, hey, slack it. And the thing about it, we gotta have that faith. Like I said, we walk by faith and not by sight. I forgot who it was. It's Yahweh Shah, and uh, I don't know who it was. He was on the boat. And he was telling me, he was commanding him to come to him. I forgot who it was. My bad, but. He was telling him like, come to like he was like, but the waves though. I think it was Peter, I think it was. But he was telling him to come to him though. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I said, yeah. this is faith based. He like, I can't come unless you unless you command me. Yeah. He started coming, then next you know the waves got big on him. Like he started dropping. <laughs> you know, in the times like that, man, we gotta be down. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna lose, you gonna lose kids, lose your wife. You got sisters oh, that believe in this truth. Hey, they mean lose their husband, you know. Hey, that's, that's, that's the adverse. What, what your house I told him? Oh, you weak faith. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. It's all about faith at the end of the day. You know, but he said, I'm going to help you. You got to keep believing, though. They say you got to have faith that, as a must see. You got to have some kind of faith. And when he said, work with me, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> work with me, DJ. You got it, bro. Uh, I can put you in the point. Matter of fact, when I get. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to go and do 10. Yeah, yeah, he really jumped. Yeah. And I don't know. Yeah, that's how it is in my eyes. I just, I tell him real time in my head. Isaiah 41, verse 10. It said, Feel thou not, for I am with thee. He said, Be not demayed. For I am the Yahweh. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with thy right hand of my righteousness. And what are we doing right now? Put Right, that's how do we prepare us at these times spiritually, right? Because when these times come, we're not doing anything carnal. You know, everything will be through the spirit, man. Yeah. You know, y'all yeah, yeah, by strong shot lead us to where we need to go. Yeah. We go back to that dream that the brother had, he was saying how he went to the stove and the man yeah. had fed yeah. him, then he went back. It was like, nah, the man, yeah. that boy was before whole, whole angel, whole angel then yeah. he said go over to their farm, it's a yeah. horse. You feel me? Like this shit real. Uh, but he said, I'm, I'm a strength to you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to guide you. Right? He's going to stand with his angel. Hey, what he say? I'm going to get. He I'm going to get my angel charge over there. Charge over there. So, you know, we're going to have the angels. Hey, heaven got a little kingdom tied to me. You know? But I am on verse 14. Psalms 41 and 14. I mean, it's like Isaiah 41 and 14. It say, Fear not thou worm Jacob. Fear not thou worm Jacob. When you look at a worm, what is it? What is it? It's defenseless, man. Yep. Can't do nothing. He got, all he can do is got them. Bird, I'm gonna swim up. That's it. That's he that's hopeless. That's but he right. has faith as well though. This Lord got him the right way. Right, so he get out there and got him. Right. To go see reach his destination. And guess what? Hey, we symbolic. We symbolic to that worm. Yep. Right? The Lord said, hey, you go to captivity and no man will redeem you. Mm. Right? Yahweh Shema Shah gotta come get us. Yahweh Shah gotta make that move come get us, man. Yeah. Once Yahweh give him the green light. So we said, well, to that to that worm. But he said, hey, fear not thou worm Jacob. Mm. He going out. All right. He said, fear not thou worm Jacob. And ye man of Israel. Kind of, I want to say that as well. You know, Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Thou worm Jacob. So they, they proved that the Lord only dealing with the uh, 12 tribes of Israel. So they, they just show you. One you call God, you know, you not your house. The one you call Jesus, you not your house. Shot. They not dealing with every other nation on the earth. They only dealing with the, the two tribes of Israel. The Lord is gonna say the nation of Israel. And they say he's not about division. You that's, know, that's pure and division they, right there. Division. He specifically pointed out a nation of people. Come on, man. He only dealing with the elect. He gonna start with the elect first. Mm -hmm. But you know, it say, "And ye man of Israel, I will help thee." Say the Lord Yahweh. He's saying that Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. He's saying the Redeemer, the Little Way, the Holy One of Israel. Uh, the Redeemer means like, yeah. hey, pretty much like you back. Yeah, like you back. Yeah, yeah. Don't deliver you. Hey, 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 hey. Run that Say, fear not thy word, Jacob, if ye man of Israel, I will help thee. Say the Lord, Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the Holy One, the, the, the one that set apart the power. Not the power we're dealing with everybody. The power that set apart from all the idol gods. You know he gonna help who? Israel. Yep. Twelve tribes. Alright. He said, and that, and, that, and that proved that the Lord don't deal with the Israelites. So now the hell break loose amongst the earth. The Lord is gonna come back, and the only one that's gonna be able to be saved is gonna be the one that you the, the elect from the twelve tribes of Israel, the one who actually believed and got faith in Yahweh Shem Yahushua. Cause it really take a strong faith to believe it's nothing what we can't see right now. Man. You know? Yeah. So, so, yeah, and that's the point. Yeah. Uh, so you had some, huh? Yeah, I was gonna get that. Yeah, my yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, he had some, man, he went. And he said that might have been time. Yeah, I was gonna tell you that. Yeah. I just wanted to bring that up. Psalms chapter 91, 
Jer Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. It say, matter of fact, hold on. Matter of fact, I said, Psalm 7, 37. 35. Say Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 5. For lo, the days come, say the Lord, that I will bring. No, it's 37. Yeah, I'm saying 5. Oh, you want to move all down. Come, select, select my way. Jeremiah 30 and 5. It say, oh, I looked at 3 though. I was saying, for lo, the days come. <laughs> it say, for thus say the Lord, Yahweh. It say, we have heard a voice of trembling, Woo. of fear, and not of peace. It say, ask ye now, and see whether a man do travail with, with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and our face are turned to turn into paleness. Right, how about she might shop and finna take that, that, that murph out the That's earth? Niggas ain't, niggas ain't finna be right here laughing about shit, man. Uh, All right? Uh, only, one really gonna be, only one that's really gonna be smiling at these times to come is the elect. Right, the ones that been out here prophesying, telling our people about what's gonna happen, what's what actually happen. But he said in definite destruction, we gonna laugh. Definite destruction, we gonna laugh at it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, he's saying we gonna laugh at your, laugh at your laugh. Laugh. And my, and my, we gonna your fear come. Come, you know. Verse seven. At last, for that day is great, mm. so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And Jacob is the uh, the father. Of the 12 tribes of Israel. But we also refer as Jacob too. You know, but we know Jacob's name got uh got changed from um Jacob to Israel. Yeah. So hey, we, we are Jacob. So the Lord gonna come back and deliver us in these time. In these time they gonna fall upon the earth that never a business man been on the earth. That you how about Shimia was shy gonna turn this place upside down, man, to the point you gonna need your how about Shimia was shy. You don't need a higher power to come save and deliver on the things that gonna go on the, upon the earth. Ooh, Unless you're gonna put your, your faith and your trust in man, which hey, you hey curse man to trust in man. So if you put in your trust in man, you're gonna fail. Because you, you either gonna believe your how about me or you're gonna believe in man. But put your faith in man, hey, you dead. You know, it over with. So it's best to have your faith in your how about me to come back and repent. But yeah, I will also say. And now also just you know picking back off what we said earlier in second in second Corinthians five and seven, we walk by faith and not by sight. Because that precept that the brother brought up in, in verse in verse seven, it says, and he shall be saved out of it, talking about the, the elect, right? Guess what? We gotta be in the mix of it. Right? But we know with the faith, the faith and the patience of God by seeing our side, right? We will be straight. You know, this is my servant shall eat, my servant shall drink, you know. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Um, yeah. Psalm chapter 91, verse 1. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most most high, Yahweh, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right, and that's heavy, right? It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high. Didn't we just put that out inside Proverbs 18 and 10? Right? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. That's a wing, man. That's like right now, you know, you take your, you, you take somebody in as a, as a, as a, uh, as a foster child or something, you know, you take them in, you know, protecting them, you know, for the thing that they got going on on the outside world, man. You know, so the Lord said, he, that, he that dwelleth, right? He says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty, man. You're going to be straight. All right, this precept to bad that up. In Psalms, chapter 25, and verse 14. Right. He say the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Mm. And he will show them his covenant. But like, it's the point. Like, you're going to buy it on the secret. Matter of fact, what it says, Shalaki, he say he that dwell in the secret place of the Most High. With, in the truth. Right. With yep. his wisdom, not and understanding, man. So this, this is the secret. This is that, that secret that's mm. going to lead to, um, to, to lead for the Lord to cover you in these bad times, these evil times that come upon the earth. You know? Matter of fact, bring that back. Oh, I'm going to write that 25. Man. Cool. Psalms chapter 91. Yeah, 91 chapter 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place. In this truth. 
of the Most High, Yahweh, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Under the shadow of the Almighty, which they're going to be with. Yahweh Shah. Gonna come with all all together. Get how about some Yahweh Shah? And I ran 4, 25, 14 back song. All right. All right. They say the secret of the Lord is with them. They fear him. What, what secret among us demands the service of the Lord? What, like what secret with them? To the point that the Lord likes a secret with them. What they would not just understand. Right. You know, it's a, uh, to the other people, the ones who would not understand, it's a mystery. You know, it's a mystery them. Also, our mystery is a secret. You know, when that secret, I'll go back to the truth, man. Because the ones who fear God by Shia Abba Shah, they the ones going to bite in the wisdom, not to the understanding of Yahweh by Shia Abba Shah, to be able to get up under that, on that shield, that protection right. of Yahweh by Shia Abba Shah. By what? Believing, having faith, doing the works. You know, going out and pushing Yahweh by Shia Abba Shah. Good, man. Hey, we truly believe that. Yahweh by Shia Abba Shah strengthen us, like you always say. As long as you, you know what I'm saying, as long as you believe it. Uh -huh. I this Psalms 31 verse 23 Oh love the Lord Yahweh All ye his saints For the Lord preserveth the faithful And plentiful reward of the proud doer Right like hey we gotta keep our eyes on the prize man the kingdom You know what I'm saying Hey we gotta we see a big We see a big uh, reward at the end You know We just gotta go through a little bumpy road A real bumpy road I'm gonna say you know, but we know what's at the end, man. Lord willing, we'll follow that that that, that, uh, that remnant where we get crowned, man. What what's the better payoff than that? Getting crowned by Lord Yahweh Shah. You know, it says, "Be of good courage, right? Be of good courage, and He shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord." Right? Because hey, hope goes back to what faith. Yeah. Right? In times of adversity, that that that, that believing in Yahweh Shah Yahweh Shah beforehand. Hey, you make sure we straight, you know? You can, um, huh, I got some more. I got some other people appreciate what you doing to the Oh, uh, Second answer now. Uh, second answer. So that song, I mean, that song 91, that whole thing really yeah, hit. I just, you know, right. you know, I just ran out to the hopefully let, man, right? Because, hey, right. huh, they, you know, they, they, they got to hear that one, man. That song 91 like a man a love song of poetry. Psalms 91. Right. Shout the wind. Right. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high, Yahweh shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Oh, that was your holy right. Oh, uh, 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 you can read it. Oh. Uh, yeah, you can read it. My bad. Again, jump back. Second Ezra chapter chapter two, verse twenty six. Right. It says, "As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish." Mm, right, and that's, that's faith. Oh, go ahead, and that's that faith. He says, "Now one of us should perish, man. These times to come is not meant. This the time that we walk into is not meant for the the uh, the one third, the one forty four elect." Right, you get caught up in it's really for the two thirds, right? It's, it's, that's, that's their judgment to get caught up in, right? Because hey, when the prophet was out here speaking, right, it was supposed to be all ears. You know what it says in Proverbs 1 and I think verse 20. Wisdom cry without. You know? She uttered her voice in the streets, saying, How long are you simple when you love simplicity? Right? So the word is out, you know. You got it out. Second edge, chapter 2, verse 26. It says, as for the servants who I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy numbers. Verse 27. Right. It says, be not weary, for the day of trouble and heaviness cometh. And hey, huh? it says, be, be not weary. Be, be not says, weary. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. It says, 2nd Ezra chapter 2. Verse 27, it says, Be not worried, for when the day of trouble and um, heaviness cometh. Right, and we know that's what you have about to talk about throughout all the scriptures, man. Right? It's gonna be a time of trouble. Huh? Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a time. It's, it's gonna be a time of trouble. <laughs> right, it's gonna be a time of trouble. Well, guess what? Hey, we really gonna have to be real well rooted. Right? And we have Lord Yahweh Shah that gave us the um 
that gave us the uh, instructions to be not wary, man. Right? We have plenty of examples. Two for your pen. All right, I got one on the book here. It's on the side, right? But you know, we have plenty of examples of, 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 of how we conduct ourselves, you know, on the Lord put the spirit on certain men, they go through trials and tribulations, and how they came out, you know, it's gold, right? Matter of fact, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, you can turn that off. Right, others shall weep and be sorrowful. Ooh, he said, others shall weep, so wow. Why we? So, hey, so why we going through? Why, why the, why the two thirds going through hell? You know, and the Lord ain't gonna have us straight, man. You know, it, you know, a little bit of tribulation gonna hit us, but hey, for the most part, we gonna be straight, man. Right? Like, Cause we up under what? The shadow of the Almighty. You know what I'm saying? We gonna be alright. You know what I'm saying? We gonna joy, we gonna rejoice in tribulations, man. What are you saying? Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, ye that dwell in them. You know, we ready for these bad times. We know what's up at the end. You know what's at the end of this bullshit that we gotta go through right now, man. The kingdom, man. You know, after that, gonna be what? No more sorrow, no more pain. You know what I'm saying? No more slavery. You know? We just gotta hold out for this one last, one last little ride, man. We said be not wary. Don't be discouraged at all. I'm gonna bring you through it. That's just like we go into the story with uh the three holy children. Right side right, this right in the Bendigo. You know? Before they had to go through it. And guess what, Lord Yahweh shot in the mix with them. Yep. Damn, hold on, but three folks down there, but I see, I know I put three people down there, but I see four. Boy, hold on, man. So but what, though? That would happen when you stand on this. That would happen when you stand on your faith, right? Uh, That's the outcome of it, like right? And he said, Isaiah 41, <laughs> right? He's gonna strengthen you, you know? And that's what we gotta have. Hey, old Jacob, old one, Thou worm Jacob. You know, in that time of tribulation, us being so defenseless, he's gonna come through and, 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 and rescue, man. Right? That's what's, that's his name. Yahweh Shah. He saved you deliver. Right? He don't he know that we're gonna be inside of a time that we can't get out unless he, you know what I'm saying, uh get that permission to, you know, get us up out of it. We gotta go, huh? But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Mm -hmm. They gonna be eating. You know what I'm saying? Hey. If we one of those men, you're gonna have multiple wives, you're gonna, you're gonna take it in because we already know through the scriptures, right? Certain women have to get saved as well. You know what I'm saying? So hey, men are gonna have wives, they're gonna be eating, right? Hey, he tell you in Psalms 34. You know, you're gonna eat and have plenty full of it in a in different translation. You know? You got it on um, uh that in on that? 29 minutes I can get Second edge. Chapter 2, verse 28. It says, The heathen shall envy thee. Hmm. Hey, boy, they gonna be like, boy, hold on, man. <laughs> uh, hey, but they, 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 go back, they go back to what's the name? Like, is this the one that we had so time to read? Wisdom Solomon, or was it chapter 5? Yeah, Wisdom Solomon 5. But it's just the fact, the, even our folk, when they see oh, yeah. the name, the Lord blessing us, you oh, know, they yeah. like, damn, we just the one we might discover. The heathen they gonna be like that too, because they thank the Lord, some of the joy, the heathen thank the Lord for everybody. And you know what I'm saying? And think they gonna be able to be the little. And like the boys like us out here on the corner, who look crazy, get bucked scarf then they look there look, on a low vibration level, ain't nobody. Right. But you know how they leave the kingdom. In them times, in the kingdom, they actually in the kingdom gonna envy us like hell. They gonna be the little boy. Hey, white cats gonna be from the house of Judah. You know like, what I'm like saying? These the nigga we got down, Yeah, God, I ain't gonna be. You really about to see a hey, the heathens gonna be a hey, you gonna see you see how we at the bottom and how how we don't really get the women how we want to right and on, on the flip side hey he's not gonna be in that same position his wife is gonna be fucking with him for a hey, who don't want chocolate man right you know what i'm saying we see the agent every day women can't get from around us like stop that traffic <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? but that's how gonna be in the kingdom man you know but we got stuff to get it though but they shall be able to do nothing against nothing. thee. And hey, even at the time of Jacob's trouble, though, right? And, I mean, my dreams, like I said, my dreams ain't nothing. But, you know, I see them as in the spiritual aspect, right? But it's like, hey, it was like as if I'm running through a building and I know these folks on my ass. You know what I'm saying? And in the corner, they like, why? Well, I know he just went and said, this is dead end. I know he right here. Man, he like, hey, I can't, he can't do nothing with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know he right here. 
I know he, the thing about I was a quote, you know what I'm saying? But it's just the point, right? Yeah, how about, about Shamal Shah going to have to the point where, hey, when he come down with that great rap, hey, you may have pulled this thing inside a soda business like cul de sacs. He may bust inside your house. Or hell, it may be to the point where he may crunk the whole house, right? He may go inside, he may go inside your house, I mean, this house, skip your house because it's close, go to the next house, and hit the next house, and grab all the fuck about their house. But you can't get your house because. And look, put a shield around it, man. Hey, you know what? That drink I was telling you about the other day, that other morning, that I had got low, and I said, the dude, like they came to the box truck. Yeah. When they were coming to the house, but they didn't go to my house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the only way they came to me, I said, hey, I was yelling, like, hey, <laughs> y'all go help. But they were going to people's house. Went, my house to get taken. They skipped my house, went straight to my neighbor's house, and hit, and, and, they, and they other four house, you know, the blue house. Yeah. The blue house, and the old bro house, they know. But the only reason they came to me, because I went down to the house. They came, they walked up to me, but it was the thing though. Even like, out of the house, they were hitting the house. Matter of fact, I gotta grab that piece, What it is, Isaiah, yeah. It's Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, that western hemisphere, mm -hmm. and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Yeah. Oh, shit. I need to get one of them, my bad. Right, but you know, it like, hey, go back to the brother dream, man, you know. Hit them in a, a, a solid believer, man. We know, we hope to the end, right? We're one of those elect men, right? But like I said, you know, he has his dream, a faith booster, man. Go yeah. come mess with him. Until he so has whole, spoke up. The whole dream was like crazy. Like, you know? It was either way it go, I was like straight on each side. When I said I had, like, he was on the run, and I had to start running, like, then he was shooting. I ain't get hit. Uh -huh. I jumped in the sewer. They like sound like crazy, but I was like, oh shit. So, when I jumped in the sewer, like, little sewer thing, and do what happened when I went down in it. And I ain't, and I ain't just take off running through it. He was like, I just jumped in and just signed a little hole. And then, like, he came running by, he was just looking. And he looking down in there. But he, he like he ain't seen me. But I'm looking right at him, but he ain't seen me. But he still wandering around looking like where I went. And I'm just right now looking at him. Oh, and he came in there with you. No one, that's how we're gonna be inside these times to come, man. That's why we hey, we keep pushing faith, man. Right? right? Because hey, yeah, if you can't put your how about you know shots out of a box, man. Stuff you finna pull out, man, you finna be like, damn, I know that was the Lord. Yep. You got a uh, you see yeah, you got that twenty nine? Alright. Be self the Lord, Yahweh. Verse 29. Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 29. It says, My hands shall cover thee, mm. so that they, thou children, shall not see hell. Ooh. That's beautiful, man. He'll go into a condition. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He can also be the grave as well. Yep. Right? But we know Yahweh by Shemar Shaq will have us in that spiritual way, and we ain't gonna touch it, man. Right. That's all I want to do, put you in a condition in the grave, a condition of the need to the grave. Huh. Go back to song. So, it to the point, like the brother said, like he saw people, we come down with the With us believing and having faith and doing what we're doing, ain't nothing he going to be able to do with us. The Lord going to have a shield protecting these times. And he, he, this time, man, ain't going to be bad times upon the earth. That the Lord going to do these times. Everybody comfortable right now. Right. That's why the one who don't believe in God faith. That's why the Lord gonna let him get overthrown when martial law come. You see him account open up. Everybody gonna be soft for crying their eyes out because they gonna be in FEMA account. Yo, yo, the government gonna your hand gonna be in the life of your government. And we gonna be in the hands of your how about shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much your how about shot gave you over to you saw. Yeah, gave you over to him. Like, I don't need you. You ain't believe in me, so I'm out of way to give to the, the one you really believe. You yep. really trust in him, but he just flipped the script on your ass. Yep. That's it. Away. He that flipped the strip on you. Oh, Psalm chapter 91, verse 1. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, Yahweh, shall uh, abide mm -hmm. under the shadow of the um, Almighty. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord Yahweh, is he my refuge, refuge and my fortress? My Yahweh in him will I trust. Man, Yahweh, man, hey, kind, that, that's what we should be doing. 
He's that rock. He's that. I mean, he can be that cover. Mm -hmm. that, that umbrella. You gonna be up under that 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 protection. You know. It's like your time to come. You gotta keep having. You gotta you know keep believing and having that faith. Uh -huh. Keep going on. Psalm chapter ninety one, verse three. Surely he shall deliver mm. thee from the snare of the fowler. Fowler, right. who that fowler? Hey Esau, he, he know. Hey, the Lord know Esau gonna crank up and come down with that great round. And what he say? He said, Hey, he shall surely deliver. You know, Yahweh Shai is that who? That deliverer. That's the name. Matter of fact, I got a quick pre uh, Nah, I'm gonna drop that. Drop that. He shall cover, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. You can't get around it, man. There's too many, and like I said, like the scripture says, back in Romans 15 and 4, you know, for what's the the things written four times was written for our learning, right through, through the comfort and the patience, right? You're gonna be all right, rough prepared for his You know? Psalm chapter 91 verse 5 It says Thou shalt not be afraid For the terror by night Right we're going to have uh, We're going to have wild beasts running around It look like the bungee out here We're right? going to have the love of many waxing cold You know what I'm saying It's going to be real He says, Thou shalt not be afraid by the terror Hey we're going to be locked inside the concentration camp You may watch your child get beheaded you know what I'm saying? Like it just, hey, the Lord finna have you position where hey, you got 144 percent believe, man. You know, and, and I contemplate on thinking about that. I think about stuff like that. <laughs> we just one of the ones to set that position. Yep. And Lord, when we able to um, 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 make it through, right? We gotta think about the times with uh, Abraham. We finna put, we well, finna let Isaac go. <laughs> you know, when it came to that, when it came down to your house, we finna let Isaac go. You know. We well, said, just for that faith, I'm gonna bless your seed, man. I said, God damn, you shit. <laughs> you got it, uh, 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 yeah, you can read it. No, no. Matter, matter of fact, matter of fact. Oh, matter of fact. I, bring it up. Oh. I gotta fix it up. Yeah. Uh, it's about 40 and 13. 40 and 13? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll be left already. Go back to that North Tesla. That's not me. I'm pretty sure that. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 40 and verse 13. I mean, it's 
say, uh, this uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 40, verse 13. Bag of, uh, what it is, um, 91 about the love of Testament. 91 about the love of Testament. You say, read, they say, the goods of the unjust shall be dried up like a river. It shall advance with, with, with noise like a great thunder in the rain. Wait, come back to the way. Oh, it's this one. They just the one I didn't want to bring up. You got a... This is Joshua. One and nine. One and eight is like my bad. And one, nine and a point. All right. All right. One and eight. All right. And Joshua, chapter one, and verse eight. Now you said nine, right? Eight. Yeah. All right. Verse eight. It said the book. It said this book of the law should not depart out of thy mouth. It said, but thou should meditate therein day and night. And that's what you, that's how, that's that build up, man. We're building ourselves up, learning the law, such commandments to the best of our ability, putting on the whole armor. You know, we're building ourselves up through the spirit, man. Right? And for these future events, that's what's going to happen, right? With the karagma, you know, concentration camps, all, all types of persecution, you know? You think she's not meditating, she occupied in prophecy, you know, like I said, uh, in the you know, 40. Yep. You got to go out. Right. Oh, okay. no, no, okay. oh. And say that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. You say for then thou mm. shalt make thy way. You say prosperous. You say and thou should have good success. Right. Hey, and, and that's, that's it right there. You doing the ways of Yahweh? You know what's up? What is it in these twelve and thirteen? What's the whole duty of man? Yeah. Right. Keep the laws that you remember to bless all things, man. Right? So, hey, that's how we get a prosperous thing. That's how we get a reward out of this thing, man. Uh, you know? That shows the faith and the diligence, man. Uh, verse 9. It say, Have not I command thee, be yeah. strong, and of a good courage. No, courage. It say, Be man. not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. This may. There you go again. No matter, it say, For the Lord thy Yahweh is with thee, wheresoever thou goest. And he said, Hey, Yahweh Shema is with thee, wherever thou goest. And that reminded me of. The, the uh Daniel chapter three, like I said, we used to have Shadrach and Abednego. You know what I'm saying? We say hey, they was there, he was there in the time of tribulation. Hey, same with us, Psalms 34. Right? The angels of the angels camp up camp up about around those that fear the Lord. You know? What's going on, Be stronger and of a good courage, right? The time we're coming to, it's gonna be hell, man. Like I said, we're gonna be inside concentration camps, but we gotta be strong within the Lord, right? Matter of fact, I gotta quit precept. This Revelation 2, verse 10, it's in the red letter, right? Representing Yahweh Shah. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried and have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Right? So, I, and throughout the whole what? Revelation, what? One through seven? You know? Chapter, chapter one, all the seven? You know, you tell all the churches, hey, what do you say in the last thing? Have faith. I'm, I'm you, you know? What, what, what was he commanding? Hey, to have faith. You know? 
Shall strengthen your heart, meaning mind. Okay, go what we just said. It, it carries out, so go back uh, on to the mind. It say, and all ye that hope in the Lord. So right, it said, be of a good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart, meaning strengthen your mind. All ye that believe in the Lord. So everyone that believe in your eye by shine, the Lord said He's gonna you know, strengthen your mind, right? To believe and to have that hope and that faith in Him to the point that He's gonna be He's gonna deliver and get you out of these situations. He's yeah. gonna come upon the earth. That cool family. That's, that's gonna be a heavy one, man. He's gonna build you up. That's what I hear doing now. Hey, we fasting, praying. You know, because in the time to come, he's gonna give you an extra spirit. Hey, look, you may go four or five days without eating. But you gonna be that spirit where you're comfortable to do it. You know? You know, hey, y'all about to say for the sake. You know what they call it for him. You got something else? All right, let's try to book uh, Sirach 2. Um, I'll go straight to it. 2 verse 10. Right, it says, look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shot and was co-founded? Did ever any trust in the Lord was co-founded? Right, we have a, an example of that. You know, this one small example. I mean, all these scriptures are examples. You know, but we got another uh, account. You know, with like I said, um, uh, Mishael, Shirek, and Abednego, right? Also, you can go to uh, the lion then with, um, with uh, Daniel. Yeah. You know, prove the point. Like, hey, how about you know, Shah? When you, if you're a faithful servant, why not? Yeah. You, you doing what I, you doing what I tell you to do. Right. So many times to come, you gotta, hey, understand? Yeah, how about you know, Shah? Take the stand with him. shoot they shot it's high time to do it yeah. you know but anyway that's that's for another day <laughs> right uh you got it out daniel chapter 3 verse 10 right it says thou o king has made a decree, decree. right that decree meaning a, 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 a law that every man, man. that yeah. shall hear the sound of the congrat congrat Cornet, like yeah. blue, heart, sack, but yeah. salty, and salty, salty, like it. Yeah, what? 
Decimal. The dosimal. Dosimal. Yeah. So like, in all kinds of music. Music shall like it. Seek shall fall down and worship the golden image. Right, because hey, that was that was what it was, you know. Uh Nebuchadnezzar had it had a decree when once you hear that music, hey, you bowing down. You know, that, that was the law that he made. He knew that we worship Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? So hey, to the point y'all y'all up under my rulership. So whenever you hear that music, you gonna drop your knees. Same thing they wanna come here. Talking about the one word religion, right? With the MOTB, so when they yuck, so when they come down with it, then you about to drop down and worship. And that's why I say, hey, it's no new thing under the sun. The thing written four times for our yep. learning because we just at the same position right yep. now. You gonna get down with it when I come out? Hey, when they start playing that music, which is gonna be that that they they see here. Come yep. on with it, you gonna get down with it. A goddamn, you see, you gonna get down to lay down. <laughs> To the point that we say, the man's of the true man's of the Lord who actually really got faith, someone gonna lay down for it. Like, they ain't with it. Yeah, that's like a beautiful thing. thing. That's a beautiful thing. Matter of fact, since you said that, I want to bring that preacher up out, man. Yeah. Right? Because, hey, brothers got to keep that in mind, right? Some may have to be asleep for a little while, yep. you know? But guess what? Hey, the dead shall rise first. Yep. That's the beauty of it. So it's really a win win. Yep. It's really a win win. Because you, if you got to go before the, the, uh, the other elect get beamed up, me. Someone, man, I think mean, it's like, it sound like it, it, it's better for them who are already, go, you know what I'm saying? You gone, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, it's best to be already, <laughs> be gone before the Lord crank it up, you know what I'm saying? Like, ones who are already gone, like, you got broken down in the chicken and face, they gone already, because they ain't got to go through. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get to work, they probably going to pass. But the thing is, yeah, they ain't gonna have to go through all the things that man ain't gonna have to go through on the earth. Right, the tribulation that we're going through right now. Yeah, this that precept. Nah, I'm not going to This that precept to back that up. Right, Psalms 116, verse 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Mm -hmm. Right, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Hey, remember that video I had did a while back? Mm -hmm. Now that they make it on the garment? Mm -hmm. That's him. We was walking down, he was walking down the street right here. I was like, he had, he had like a red garment on, a blue, blue, red garment on. He had to realize like y'all was trying to know what it's like. Yeah, yeah. Right, man. Right, B. You know, but it said, precious is the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. So that's still a beautiful thing, right? To go out behind what you believe in, right? So that's, that's another thing, right, for brothers, right? Hey, be up under that persecution and be up under the guillotine. It is what it is. Right? Hey, face me. Hey, face me straight to the, to the blade, man. Do what you gotta do. We know you're gonna fight for us anyway. Right? We're the first one that rises up and get what? Hey, crown. Right? Hey, second edges, uh two. Right? Second edges two. You're starting to like, I want to say 40. No. We're talking about the, hey, the minute that's still stiff before the night. No. Nope. Time, so, uh, you, you gotta do it. Oh, you stop there. James chapter 3, verse 11. It says, And whoso follow not down and worship, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning. Fiery, fiery furnace. Woo! Hey, man, that's that build-up, man. And you about to see how much integrity, right, these men had, man. Uh, and that's why we say the things written in the fourth time for our learning, man. We got to mold ourselves, right? We need that grace period to do so, right? Ephesians 6, I right? put on the whole armor, right? Because you're going to take the whole armor. You can't just have on just the knee pads and not the helmet. You know what I'm saying? Not just the helmet and not the armor pad. You got to have on the whole oh, thing. That's, 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 what, that's what it's going to take. Everything they uh, give you out of the way, play like football. You gotta have it on uniform. Uniform, man. You gotta have it on the whole thing. Nigga, you from that blind side, boy. Hey, Mike, you out of there. Hey, this, this that uniform, this, and, and this, this that whole uniform, this that whole shit you put on, because this is that spiritual walk. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have on that whole shit. Huh. You got it out.
James chapter 3, verse 12. There are six. Because what the scripture say also, those who keep it going. There are six things. James chapter 3, verse 12. There are six things, Jews, who thou hast set over the affairs of the certain Jews. James chapter 3, verse 12. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province. Yeah, province. Yeah, province. Yeah, Yep, this, yep. Of Babylon. Yeah. 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 Everybody, we know y'all worship somebody else, but still, you finna fall up under who? Hey, what, what we what we have set up? You know, if you going up. That's what it's gonna come down to. Yeah. He's gonna push up on inside your house. Yeah. Just like I said, everybody not gonna be having their house cloaked or how it, it may be, right? Some have to go down to those concentration camps, man. You know, but and he's gonna have to the point where hey, Jay think he's doing something, goddamn flexing his gun. That should be funny. Flexing his crowns might be got him grabbing the whole way. Anyway, <laughs> but you know, in that time comes, right? Yeah. 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 You have about Shema Shaka have to the point where hey, he's going to grab hold of a lot of a lot, a lot of believers. Right? We're gonna be inside of concentration camps, you know? And he's gonna, he gonna give you that same type of decree. I mean not decree, but um type of uh you know, uh damn scenario. You know, if you're trying to take this or not. take you out right now i mean kill this flesh and get redeemed back up you know with yahweh shot in a positive way you know what i'm saying you got it out hey it's chapter 3 verse 15. Now, if 
ye be ready that at what time ye hear the sound of the hornet, loose, heart, and all kinds of music. Ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Right, hey, that's the kind furnace. of furnace. And now, and that, well, what that is, that was the, the punishment. You don't want to do this law, right? This is what happened by, after that, right? Go ahead. It says, and who is that God, Yahweh, that shall deliver you out of my hands? Man, oh, it says, he said, what? And who is that power that shall deliver you out of my hands? Pretty much he wants the mock. You know, thinking that hey, our Lord will not be, be with us at such a time of his need. Yo, I'm gonna say, you know, pretty much, like, who, we don't believe in your God. Yo, this is our God. Yo, he ain't bound down to this, man. Like, our God right here now, faith. Man. We see how. <laughs> and, and that's how he, that, and that's how never, never moved him, man. Yeah. He, he pretty much, he pressing us, man. Yeah. But like I said, we need times right now. Oh, you good, you good. We need times right now to, like, hey, building that, building that spirit up, man. He's building that spirit up. He put on all this armor, man. Going on, man. <laughs> right, we put on this armor, right? You know, week in and week out. Cause we know we're gonna get tried the same way, man. We're gonna get tried, rather, rather, rather they, they don't, rather they don't see it or not, we're gonna get tried in that same type of way. You don't want to take this seat help? All right, you got something better for you. And think about it, Esau's gonna corner you into taking it. I'm gonna take away the benefits. I'm gonna take away your job. Hell, I may take away your kids. And, and, well, you know, kids will, be, kids will be a lot of brother's weak point. Won't be mine. It is what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to have the spirit of Abraham. Right? You ready to lose a child. You say you believe in your house by Shemuel Shah. But what he keep that same spirit upon us, though? You know? You got it, huh? Right? Yeah. 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 But the thing was, you know, it said, hey, they'll be cast into a furnace if they don't believe and if they don't bow down to the music. Right. Verse uh, Daniel chapter three, verse sixteen. Shabarak, Mishi, Mishai, and uh, uh, Bendigo, Bendigo, Shalaki. Yeah. Answer and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, Shalaki, we are not careful to answer you. In this matter, you say that shit would have instant. He ain't had to hesitate no minute. This shit, go ahead. <laughs> Verse 17 If it be so, our God, Yahweh, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fury burning, and he will deliver us out of thy hand. Okay? Woo! Hey, man, tell them straight up. You know what? Like I said, we go through all these other scriptures, letting you know that hey, the Lord will deliver us, right? Like I said, this is a major account of the Lord delivering these three men out of this tribulation. No, you got it. I don't know why I can do it. Say, man, this right here, them actually going, matter, matter of fact, I'm just going to say it. Them going through that that fire, that physical fire, it's symbolic to how we go through the spiritual fire, man. Yeah. Right? Um, y'all see, y'all believe? All right, cool. When that man press y'all for real, y'all ain't going to bow down. Y'all actually stand in that fire for real. Yeah. And I got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going with it. what you going to do. Don't you? Like say, go, got to be tried. Gotta be, we got to burn all those impurities. Yeah. I got to see what y'all really made of. Yeah, go through it. You know what we're going through right now? We're losing goddamn jobs. We're losing wives. We're losing the kids. We're losing the house. Right? You guys see what you made of. You make the gold. You got to be right in the fire. Yeah, especially when you saw why you up. The Lord you have to saw the uh, to snatch you up. You still come up out of that. Huh? It's just the point that hey. you can prove your faith. 
sure you eat them like that. They're gonna be the point. You're gonna prove your um, um your faith to the how you release. That's how they're that's how they gonna turn out to be. I had, bust out with some spiritual power. <laughs> I had a um, I had a dream like that on one time. And we all shackled up. Like we in that motherfucker, like we, we in the in 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 the camp. And who I'm looking at everybody like, boy, who? Get up out of here. <laughs> They like, huh? Yeah, well, they was crying, they crying and weeping. So you got the game fucked up. You got the game fucked up, boy, who? <laughs> hey, well, I start to get down, start playing with, you know, you know how that shit do when you got yeah, down. You try you to can't go there. Yeah, try to get out. I snapped them all, folks, but Broke up out of there. I mean, who that one pulled the pillars of all time? Uh, yeah, it sounds nice, I guess. Think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, to the point, like, hey, why I got Fine down? And I said, well, when they sit here with y'all, y'all can sit up here and cry. Those things, you know what I'm saying, and, and got up out of there. You never know how to be out by trying to shock my happy, man. You know, you gotta have it. I lost my train of thought. Damn, chapter three, verse 19. Then there was Nebuchadnezzar. Shalak, David Perez. Shalak, Nebuchadnezzar. Full of fury in the form of his. Oh, y'all read, read 18? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I didn't read 18. No, I didn't read my fault. She liked it. My fault. Dang, it's chapter 3, verse 18. But if not, be it known unto thee, O King, that we will not serve thy God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Right. Verse 19. And it, and it but, but, now, Shalak did not say, go back and listen to him. He said, but if not, like, but if you don't say, but we still, if he ain't going to deliver him, we believe in him. But if he's not going to deliver him this time, but we might have to go through whatever reason. Like, I'm still not going, I'm still not going to bow down to your image, man. Straight up. Brave statue, man. Your shit can't walk, talk, breathe. It had no life. You, can you got to pick this statue. You can pick him up, up and carry it. Like. And it takes what to say that? Take, 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 it was Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar yeah. full, full of fury, fury right. in the form of his the sage, Shalaki, was changed against Sabre. Shire. 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 That's how mad that, that king was to the point where hey, these men actually told, told the king, hell no. Nah. To the point like, you know what, fuck, we're gonna, we're gonna, heat, we're gonna heat this furnace hotter than it can like, go. Like, like, they probably shit, all right. They trying. Yeah, they ain't trying. You know, and, and what's gonna happen this time? It's on 500 degrees. Man. <laughs> to the yeah. point, hey, he gonna happen to the point where it's gonna be we're gonna have to the point where it's gonna be uh uh like in this time. You know, we're gonna tell him no and what he gonna do. But had him. But he said, I, I saw thrones, you know, and, and those that sit upon him, and judgment was given unto them. Yeah. You know? These same times is coming, man. And how about you not shot that getting us ready for it, man? That's it. You got it up. Huh? It said, but he said, it says. Sirat, Mishai, and Abednego. Shalak. And to cast them into the burning furnace. Furry, furry. Right? He kept and he, he he gathered up his army, man. Right? His 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 armor, his armor, his, his security, right? And he told them to do what? Hey, put them inside of the, uh, the burning furnace, man. Verse 21. Daniel chapter 3, verse 21. Then these men were bound in their coat. Their host. Hosing. They're hosing. Yeah, hosing. They're hosing. Yeah, hosing. Okay. Hosing and their hats and yeah. their other garments 
and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Right. Verse 22. Therefore, because the king's commanded was urgent and the furnace is exceeding hot, extremely hot, the flame of the fire soothed those men that took up. Shire, Shire, Mishite, Mishite, and Abednego. Abednego, right, that's to the point, hey, it was, the furnace was so hot, it hey, killed those men. That's how hot that furnace was, man. Keep going. Verse 23, it said, And these, and these three men, Shire, Mishite, and Abednego, Abednego, Abednego <laughs> she like, fell down into the mist of the fire and furnace. Fire and furnace. Right. Verse 24, then Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar, the king who was he astonished, was astonished, astonished mm -hmm. like, and rose up in haste, haste. and spake and said yes, unto yes. his counselors, counselors, did not we cast three we men bound. bound into the midst of the fire? Hey. They answered, okay. and said unto the king, true, O king. And like I said, this was, and, and, and I started from up top because I wanted to get that whole build up, man. Yeah, to show you how yeah, these folks, the right. you know, these folks ain't they, they had that integrity, man. And they, they, had, they had that integrity. down three but he see four people down there you know what i'm saying guess what hey that's what happens when you believe on your how about your own shot it's at our times as well right the lord gonna be in the mix of the battles with us hey sending the angels you know to, to comfort us having those angels direct us to the food you know what I'm saying? like i said my servants shall eat my servants shall drink you know i had one quick uh precept right quick with the book of sirach four excuse me asking four verse 28 it says, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Right? And that's what you have about Shemesh can do for us in, in, inside these times, man. Right? When all hell breaking loose, he said, hey, they should be saved out of it. Who, who's, the, who's the one he's going to be saving? Hey, the one that been striving for the truth. Yeah. You know? Putting out the immortal, clothing. The, no, the moral and put on the immortal. Yeah, put on the immortal. Yeah. The Lord's Lord going to fight for you, man. You got it up. Daniel chapter 3. Verse 26. Right. It says then Samaritan. Nebuchadnezzar. 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 Yeah. Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. Came near to the mouth of the burning, fiery furnace. Right, that mouth meaning the meaning the door. It spake and said, Shabarat. Sadra. 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 Sadra Mishi. Mishia. Mishia and Abednego. Abednego, ye servants of the most high. God, Yahweh, come forth and come hither. Then Shabbat, Shabbat, Meshach, and Abigo go come forth of the midst Shabbat. of the fire. Come. Verse 27. It says, nah, go ahead. Verse 27, it says, And the princes, governors, and captains, and the kings, Counselors began gathered together. Saw these men upon those fighting. The fire had no power, nor was in the hair on their head sign. Neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of the fire had passed on them. Right, so the men, hey, the men. 
Hey, hey, those men, those men was going through uh, 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 an actual furnace, an actual adversity, right? An actual fire. And like I said, we're letting everything to this time to come, right? Because, hey, we're going to be inside that same type of uh, uh, scenario, you know? But he said, hey, you couldn't smell no burn, no smoke on them, none of them. They had their hell off. They called in the Tyrion. They the car out about a part. Hey, also, hey, that's, when I said, when I said that word, the Tyrion, and hey, that reminds me of how it was back in the uh, Going through the, the wilderness. Yeah. Your clothing, your, your clothing uh, deteriorate. None of that. Because what yeah. was with you, man? Yeah. Yeah. When you have by showing shot, got your hands on you, man. Hey, ain't nothing nobody else going to you, man. Yeah. When it, when it, you are with you, you can get shot. Kind of, and that's why, hey, that's why all, all of the heathens, they really had fun when you have by showing shot took his hand, his hands off of us as a, as a, as a yeah, nation. Yeah, yeah. You know, because like, they knew, like, oh, y'all don't know what to pray to. They don't know the name. But now that Lord putting his hand back on those select men, like, he well, have no idea. Huh. You got to destroy the hell out of these. They make them go out to the, the full of their bullets. They, they ain't say the best there, but it's because they ain't had no ability to open on y'all. Because they was all wiped out. Come. Huh. Get to the full fleet, yeah. Damn. Going off. Come. Huh. So you're going to have to the point where they ain't. You're going to be in that same time where they ain't. Like I said, how they had none of their clothes deteriorating. They ain't had no smoke coming off of them. You know, they, they, that's what, hey, that's what, you know. What is it? The enemies are envy them? I mean, the heathens are envy. Hey, they be like, God damn, but y'all probably already dealing with y'all. You know, that's another, that's another way right there. You got it, huh? Go back to Daniel in the light, then. Daniel in the light, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. your God dealing with you, oh, like that, you know what I'm saying? They God real. This. Right. Like, shit, throw them niggas in there who got them trying to set you up. <laughs> Put their ass on that, that line and ain't them up. Turn their ass up. Because you wasn't a man of the Lord. Daniel chapter 3, verse 28. It says then Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar spake. It said, Bless, bless be thee, God, Yahweh, uh, Shabarak, 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 Mishiach, and uh, Abednego, who have sent his angels and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word. And Yeeted their bodies, and that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god, Yahweh. Uh, verse, verse twenty-nine. Therefore, I, I a made a decree that decree. every that every people, nation, and language, language which speak. which speak any thing amiss against the God Yahweh of Sharak, Mishkat, and Abednego. Shall be cut in pieces, <laughs> and their houses shall be made a dungeon. Like, like, no, God, God. Because there is no other God, Yahweh, that can deliver after this sort. Mm. Verse 30. It says, Then the king promoted Shabarak. 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 Inside of the Pentagon. the point, you know, hey, like I said, hey, that, that was that main, main account I want to grab, right? He said, hey, and so what, two and ten, look at the generations of old and seed that have any, ever trust in the Lord and was co founded. Uh -huh. That's what all that goes back to. You know, it's a little, you know, but hey, you got the, it's just the point, though. You know, got, got the full, you know, thing of it, you know, it said, who that trust in the Lord and they, hey, was co founded, you know, roughly paraphrased. Matter of fact, you have um, um, you done with anything else? I got, uh, I got like one more. I let you grab it. I got one, but I let you go first and I close up. Close up. All I right, come. Come. I can't read. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got Let's take it 16 to 74. 16 to 74. You know, but it's just the point, right? He said, hey, look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord was co-founded. Matter of fact, I want more You know, it was co-founded. You know, because hey, the Lord, when the Lord dealing with his people, he's gonna he gonna let it be known. Uh, on second edge, chapter 16 and verse 74. He said, Hear ye, O ye, my beloved, say the Lord, Yahweh Shah. But in the time you see that word Lord in lower case letter that represents Yahweh Shah. You know? The outshot of the new, the old, and then the new time. He said, Hear ye, O, ye, 
my beloved, say, the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Mm. See, hey, walk in my paper, not by sight. I'm telling you what's ahead already. Right? The Lord gonna tell you about what's gonna come down the pipeline. Like we're telling you about a hey, martial law, the civil war. What? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Y'all gonna burst? No, but, I mean, we, we, we know, we know the, the, the Hebrew tongue, yeah. Yeah, so-called Negro, saying, Native yeah. American Indian, so-called Latino Hispanic, make up 12 tribes of Israel. Like, when you do history and research. Yeah, I know history. I, I, yeah. I history. Yeah. Okay. But well, why y'all, why y'all in the scriptures down through the years and the language? Because we, we, we didn't sign up, we didn't sign up land by captivity, so therefore we don't know it to the fullest to the fullest extent. Hey, but the scriptures say, but you know, the Lord said, I'm gonna restore to you a pure language. Right. So we, we don't, we don't get all that. So right now we're now in captivity. But you have the, the, the they just like, the they just like, why we ain't keep the book? You say what? If we come to them, why we ain't keep the book? Why the white man had the principal for us? Should we introduce us to them? Really? He didn't reintroduce us because, like, the scriptures say, he ain't that. He didn't get off the boat, so I'm just like, yeah, because he's done, and at a certain period of time, we're going to wake back up to our identity. Right, because uh, the scriptures said, the land of Captain Group was saying, 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 the land of He real life. What is the so-called Negro that like, <laughs> came back in the middle? I mean, he got dreads in the way. Yeah, he got dreads. Like, like, it's just being real. Call how we see it. But we, we the Hebrews likes you know, so-called Negro like to make American Indian with the tour of Charles of Israel, right? Letting our people know coming to our power, right? We're in the grace period right now to get get right. You no know, repent and coming to the Lord. We keep lost that to the best of our ability. Right, the Lord's finna, the Lord's finna, the Lord is finna make a, 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 a great, great judgment time, you know, within the whole world. But it's, uh, judgment gonna start with the house of Israel. You know, so it's gonna be killing a lot of us. No, 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 saying like, what's uh, I'm trying to uh, get, uh, get a precept. Uh, uh, pretty much, um, uh, the good run. All right. Alright, do it right, 28. Alright, do it right. Oh, yeah, we know, you think you know, like, we got coming to the local, he's tripping from everything, and, you know, we gotta figure out who, we're not figuring out, but we out here laying out people like him. But it's, it's hot time to work out of sleep, you know? So we gotta come to the local, because he's gonna start making that, that great judgment throughout the whole earth. And you want to be on this, this good side of the side. Yeah, niggas. Um, like, when? You about to see it. I mean, right now, you, you, about, to, you about to see it with, when they start introducing this right here on the MOTV, the Mark of the Beast. Yeah. Right, they about to see it. So once, once things like this start happening, you got martial law start happening, that's the grace period being closed, right? That's, he gave us the, um, in 2nd Corinthians 9, he says, measuring time diligently. So that means us discerning the time. That's how we know when he closed the, 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 uh, the seal of, uh, uh, like, how it was a Noah's Ark. He closed the you know, close the door of repentance. Cause there's gonna be a few minutes like brothers like us out here, we ain't gonna be out here no more. Done. See everybody who walk by and north and don't ask questions to the point. Cause we in these time with all this for the happen, they buy a prophecy. Yeah. So when all this stuff start popping out, the Lord gonna take us out the corner. Meaning he's gonna be a family of the word. So when start things start happening, like dang, I used to hear my brother talking about that. Wait, well, you're gonna be looking for brothers on else. You ain't gonna find those. They might be to the point, you're gonna be too late. But when they was happening to me, uh if you don't repent, you're gonna die. If you don't repent, you're gonna you can't be never yeah. real, bro. They, yeah. they, they, that's the real yeah. Everybody's not gonna die. Yeah. When you, you gotta tell me, you gotta let that's gonna actually stay alive. And 
the street to tell you, Matthew 24, he said, say, he say, should no say, not a fact. Okay, he says, should no flesh be saved before the elect say. So meaning, ain't nobody gonna be saved but the elect. The ones who out here actually believe and got faith in him and pushing the word, you gotta do the work. So the scripture say every man gonna be judged according to their works. So if you ain't putting in no work, they just like if you don't if you don't go to a job, you ain't gonna eat, right? You ain't got money to pay your bill. You ain't putting no work. So how you expect to own um, somebody to look at you, look after you before you wanna be able to prosper and think you ain't doing that. The same thing with the Lord, like if you ain't doing no work. How you expect me to save you? You ain't even push my name out to nobody. Right. You know, you got to believe and push my name. You know, like that name, your was shot. Huh? I said, what if I'm begging or something? Yeah, I mean, that, that's like, that's false, false. Yeah, false. Uh, <laughs> right? yeah, false, false. Uh, pretty much idolatry. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm begging. Yeah, like, false idolatry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got to put this. Yeah. This, uh, Amos, this, this Amos 8 verse 11, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. They shall wander from sea to sea, you can really take over and from the north into the, the east. To the point, man, it's just, hey, bro, folks are ignorant. Time out. But well, why we ain't still got the, the rich of the language? Cause nigga, you in captivity. You want to put captivity on the folk who didn't speak, goddamn Hebrew, nigga. That gets true. That's in the scripture. That, that's in the scripture. You gonna be Hebrew, nigga. Hebrew, nigga. Right out of your, your culture, man, your nationality, meaning you gonna lose your language. You gonna lose the way you used to dress, the way you used to talk, the way you used to worship the circuit. How about some y'all shot? You gonna lose them things. But this nigga talking about he studying history and he ain't even know nothing. He ain't know. You ask a dumb ass question, but you can't even yeah, well, comprehend what, 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 what we were saying. Yeah, hey, to the point that the scripture tells you you're going to lose these things. Uh -huh. And when you come back in the land of your captivity, your enemy going to strip you for that land of captivity. You're going to come back, you're going to remember yeah. yourself. Yeah. But that's, that's, trying to listen, but that just shows you niggas be trying to mark your stuff, bro. Mm -hmm. You don't need to know what the hell you talking about. If you study history, nigga, you'll know Hebrew is the original language. Mm -hmm. Nigga. But you got to think about it. how the hell the Egyptians were able to communicate with the Israelites. Nigga, they had to speak Hebrew. But they were calling on Yahweh's shy name back in Egypt. The Alphonse got more about it up. Calling on Yahweh. You feel me? So we go back to the Hebrew name. And nigga, through all out of history, the letter J-E-O-U-V. So he, if nine times ten, if he know the name outside of uh, Jesus, he gonna say Yahweh, Yahshua on some shit. He talking, you can tell. You gonna say something with five letters in it, bro. Which they don't go back to the Hebrew alphabet. They just show you how niggas ignorant be marking the scarf if you, you, you study history. But your dumb ass say, well, how they get the book? <laughs> nigga, that, that, that's stupid. Nigga, like, what you mean? Mm -hmm. Nigga, they carry me power after the dark age. Mm -hmm. They were going around taking land, so we going to your land take scroll. You, they just like, you, y'all Israelite. We going to invade your shit. Nigga, y'all got scroll written by God. Oh, we want all this. They talking about God, you know what I'm saying? They talking about, they talking about powers. Uh, so shit, we gonna take all this, this all right here. We go to different, like, we gonna invade it. They take it, they just go like, Dr. Frank the Strain was saying, uh, over there in it. So like, no, 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 we gonna rock this. Don't understand, I wanna finish off on this. Come on, come on, come on. Nah, you good. Nigga be ignorant, bro. Then don't need, then when you talk, nigga don't want you to talk. Try to over talk you, but you ask a question, but when you say something, nigga try to talk with you. Have shit. <laughs> can't, can't, can't. That shit crazy. Well, I didn't get it. It's second after 16, verse 74. It says, Hear ye, O my beloved, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashimia was shot. Behold, the days come, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same. Right? So Yahweh Bashimia was already letting it be known that, hey, you will have dark days coming uh, uh, ahead. You know? Like I said, hey, no food, right? People breaking inside. You no know, houses. The love of many wax and cold. It said, hey, man, you have no pity upon his neighbor. Right? All, talk, all those types of things are going to be coming to pass, man. He says, hey, I will deliver you from the same. I'm right. He's going to be that cover for us, man. Right? He's going to make a man more precious than fine gold. And I got that chunk called Bree. Right? He said, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. <laughs> it says, um, that's what it was, Psalm 34 and 6. My bad. This right here, the book of Psalms 34, verse 6. To back that up, it said, This poor man cried 
and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. You can be second time steady praying, man. You know, praying for you, how about you, man? I try to get us out of those troubles, man. Right? See, the poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him, delivered him out of all his That's troubles, right. man. We, hey, we're going to be straight regardless, man. That's why we're out here to push this, this vibration right to the whole thing left. Right? We're going to be set up a time like never before. Right? We don't know what it feels like to have an EMP strike. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole house. I mean, we have done that before, you know. Like, 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 like the house of the and stuff. But, you right. know, in a time of real adversity. Right. You know, Esau really got martial law coming in. You know, they didn't gathered up your family. You know? So, hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord said, hey, them days of trouble are going to come. Right? But, hey, I'm going to be from the same. Verse 75, it says, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for your how about you shot is your God. Right? And that's that just the point of it, right? Because the time we come into, we're going to be out here building this the building to how we love and have you, you know, position, and even to the concentration camp. Right? Hey, the Lord, hey, take, hey, keep your head on the swing, man. I'm going to guide you throughout this, man. Because this is what we're going through. We're going through a matrix, a maze, whatever however you want to call it. But, and the Lord said, he can deliver us out of it, man. You know, you got any final scripture? Yeah, that was the last one you had. Oh, my dear. All right, Tom. I had it at Big Stand, my son. No, you good. I'm going to cross out. I'm going to cross out for Tim. Tim? Oh, yeah, Con, 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 yeah. It's a lot. It's Timothy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Back. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How's that all the pain? Hey. Nah, hey, look at generations old and see. Never any trust okay. in the Lord was going to found it. Right? He's telling the truth going to be upon us real real soon, man. Right. The Lord gave us the examples of plenty of prophets to, to uh, read their accounts and, 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 and uh, take heed of, man. All right, the second Timothy. Right? Uh -huh. First Timothy chapter six and verse twelve. Close out here. Okay. He say, "Fight the good fight of faith. Mm, Lay hold what, on." Go ahead, now go nah, ahead. I'm go gonna ahead. say that's what we do each and every day, man. Done. Right? We out here fighting, man. Fighting, hey, the, we fighting the wicked thoughts. Yep. We fighting, going to work. You know what I'm saying? Fight Waking up, thing. five o'clock in the morning, got to go to work. Ten o'clock at night. We fighting these things, man. Yep. We, Cause we know what's at the end of this battle, man. Fighting false doctrine. Thank <laughs> God. You know, we're fighting all of these things, Strong, man. So, uh, hey, no, we we in a big battle, man. But guess what? Hey, big battle comes with big rewards, man. What they say, just us against the world, baby. Like T-Pot <laughs> say, yeah, man. Uh, you against the world. Us against the world, basically. You know, con. And, hey, man, we know Andre going to pay off, man. That's why, hey, he said, uh, is it Hebrews 6 and 10? It's so, like, I got to grab that right there. Yeah. I think it's Hebrews 6 and 10. Where, where trying, where trying to go, uh, I got to read it straight up. Oh, uh, it's Hebrews 6 and 10. Yep. For your how about Shemel Shah is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown toward his name, and that ye have. For your how about Shemel Shah is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And you put in that work, man. You how much I'm trying to bless you, man. You can't get around that. You know what I'm saying? So you out here sending against the world, man. Yep. Right? Willing to put your life on the line behind this. Right. Willing to not go home today because hey, the man had to take you up because you was cutting with the sword. Yep. That's that what it is. Hey, look, hey, the Lord gonna, <laughs> hey, the Lord gonna bless you, man. Now, hey, man. Hey. So I like now you want to run the talk. That's what I'm saying. I said don't have it. He trying, he trying to drive. He can't do no drive by. And give out. Nah, no, can't, yeah. can't work like that, man. Now you gonna get out, get out the car. And, Look, and that's all I said. He said I did tell him to go ahead. I like go ahead. Yo, cause he ain't trying, man. He was, I felt the pride in his spirit when he was out the car anyway. Yeah. But right. you know, that's the point. Hey, how about you not shopping? The work that you put in is the work that you're gonna get put out. I mean, the work you get put out. That's like when you go back to the man with the uh, with the talents. Yep. You know, boom, you you put in your work, then he gonna ten yep. cities. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The Lord gonna bless you, man. As long as you're here doing what you're supposed to be doing, man. Right, feeding the sheep, getting your house in order, man. Starting off with your mind. Uh, you know, you got it all. I just had to bring that out right quick. First Timothy six to twelve, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life. Mm. Huh? Huh? Uh, I saw milk. My bad. Uh, 
Say it again, sir? No, no, no. Oh. Nah, it took me a minute, man. All right, guys. Take it easy, man. Can you repeat that one more time? First Timothy, season 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. One, two, that are also called and has pro professed a good profession for many witnesses. Huh. I, I had a quick press up. This right here, the book of uh, Colossians 3, and then I'll start at verse 1, to the point. If ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above, where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of your house. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. And that's what we're doing right now. We're setting our affection on things above. We're setting, we're setting our affection man the rewards man right so that's what we can keep grinding until we get it man. we see the kingdom to come you know so that's just that on that okay so you know lord lord willing it was edifying man it's a faith booster man there's nothing wrong with hey i always bring out those faith boosters man lord willing the elect has been edified and it touched you know what i'm saying the brothers and the few of sisters right so with that being said, you know, we'll close out by giving all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, with Dr. Dodge. A hey, double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Hillstone, who well and teach well. Shalom to the hopeful like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity, presenting their bodies a living sacrifice, man. Right? And Shalom to the two sisters, are just getting the order, taking heed in these last days. We'll close out with an endurance prayer, right? Uh nothing to a miracle, man. And in the Hebrew tongue, we would just close out with an endurance prayer saying, we pray that the Lord keep, give us the, uh, the, the strength to endure to the end. You know, Bob Bashar, meaning please, man. So with that being said, Shalom.